Hey guys, welcome to another uh, another installment of last week in developer memes colon boomer edition. Is that good? It's close enough. Okay, it's close enough. So this is the format where we go and we look at the the best developer memes that you guys submit to our uh, subreddit, which is let me see if I can pull this thing off. Our techno not submissions. I'm gonna give you one more. Our techno not submissions so it's on reddit you guys send the memes in and we'll look at them if you like this kind of content we're going to be doing plenty of it so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the little thing that tells you to get the thing when we publish new videos and hit the like button and if we're doing anything bad or you love what we're doing hit comment the reason the subscribes are so important to us is because it's the only way i know how to pay rob he wants to get paid so his pay is 100% attached to how many subscribers we have. Anyways, let's get into it. Here we go. Here, here they are. Oh boy. Okay. So there's some new meme formats here. Uh, I'm not familiar with all of them. When your program is a complete mess, but it does its job. Okay. We have some sort of bird here and the bird is achieving flight by rotating its head like a helicopter and off it goes. Look, if it works, don't knock it. Don't knock it. That bird's flying. That's a down vote. Okay. Your phone when you say you want to buy something. Okay, and then we have the three characters from Oh, what show is this? Is this um is this um um Friends? That's yeah. what it is? Yeah. Yeah, you got Schnandler and then Phoebe and then um Courtney Cox. Okay, and your phone when you say you want to buy something. Oh, and they're they're all listening to you wanting to buy something. That's actually scary it's super scary and totally true i want to upload that for awareness introducing vs code stories the extension you've always wanted but have been too afraid to ask for this guy made this yeah. you know what though i heard about this i heard about so this guy makes this app thing it's like a plug-in for vs code also don't use vs code it's monopolistic and it sucks the life out of small business you can watch a video that we made about that if you want to i'm done shilling it this guy makes this thing, right? And it takes these uploaded photos, these things. It only took about like three minutes for the internet to start uploading dicks. The TTP, the time to penis was very low. I'm going to upload it just so more people upload dicks. A thorough documentation reading equals a tasty pizza. Why do I need your documentation? I'll figure it out for myself. I can't tell by the photo very well, but is, are they boiling that pizza? Holy shit, man, it's gonna be some soggy, weird pizza. It's pizza soup. Yeah, I guess, you know, when you read documentation, it will help avoid these issues like doing a thing completely wrong and bypassing normal, uh, you know, logical thinking processes. But you know, what's the point? What's the joke here? That you're gonna do this? Like, I had set down vote. I don't understand any of these memes. Me sits down to code. All the cool program ideas in my mind. Adios. And then you got a gentleman who's got boxes for feet entering some sort of transpatial portal to another universe, I guess. Well, you don't pull your ideas out when you're coding. That's the dumbest thing you could do. That's like, it's just more, f more incompetence, Rob. There's more incompetence this week than normal. Uh, will you fix my computer? Me with computer science degree and then relatives asking me to fix their printer. Fix it for him. What are you, some kind of asshole, some sort of elitist that can't help your auntie out? Your aunt's sitting there and she's like, I just need you to print out my recipes. And you're just like, listen, Aunt Gertie, your recipes. I have a computer science degree and it's a bachelor's from the University of Phoenix Online. So I really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Google, killing a child. The FBI is like, hey, let me, let me take my sunglasses off and look at that search term. FBI, they are what, sleeping? Killing a child process and stack overflow. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of good. It's kind of good, man. But also the FBI doesn't care. You don't have to worry about the FBI. You have to worry about the NSA, okay? The FBI doesn't get in self-involved in looking through Google. It's the NSA, the National Security Administration, the guys with the giant park out in Utah that's just a big giant data center that's got petabytes and petabytes of storage and uh, if you want like a little thing to look up just look up this thing called x key score bad x equals 10 
better. X equals one plus 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 one. Good for integer i equals zero. Whoa, integer? What the fuck? What are we type scripting now? For integer i equals zero, semicolon i is greater than neg minus eleven. What the shit? I minus minus x equals negative i. Oh my god. Okay. And then the pro level is a do x equals new random next thing. Okay, yeah, do while wow. x does not equals. This is a problem though. This is just gonna generate like a million numbers. These are all horrible ways to kind of do this. It has awards. This was an awarded thing. It was. People liked it. Who likes this? Who likes it enough to say like, give? I'll give that guy money. Okay, we have another one from Penis Man seventy eight. Great. The average Linux user and his family. I, I still, I still don't, I don't understand, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get this, what is this, I don't get it, I just don't get it, why is, why can I see through the dog, I think it just might be a malnourished dog, and why is this child a tinier version of him, the penis man, I feel like you're gonna you just have to step this game up quite a bit. Okay, we got Nicholas C. Zakis, also known as the hacker known as Slicknet. <laughs> Don't be too clever is one of my mantras. Okay, and then he's quoting something that Brian Kernighan, Kernighan, Kern, Kernighan, debugging is twice as hard as writing the code in the first place. Therefore, if you write the code as cleverly as possible, you are, by definition, not smart enough to debug it. That's not true. Well, first of all, debugging is not that hard. It's just a console log and you can see the error in the thing and it tells you what's wrong and you fix it. I don't, uh, Moses speaks the truth. Okay, we have Mads Brat. And then we got Moses Lamar who has the most rapper name I've ever heard. Uh, okay, so Mads has said, when we work as developers, we're not paid to code. We're not paid to use different languages and frameworks. We're paid to solve problems for businesses and users. Code just happens to be an efficient tool to reach that goal. But don't lose sight of the real objective, which is getting paid to solve problems. <laughs> and then this dude is just like, oh, fuck off, Mads. You're paid to Google Stop lying. Yeah, it's true. I mean, like, really, guys, if you're trying to become a developer, if you are a developer, you know that, like, Google is 99% of the job. The best, best apps I have developed. One, Hello World. Two, Test App. Three, Untitled Project. Is this just junior developer Twitter leaking onto programmer humor again? You know, some of the best apps I've developed, they actually have names. They're not just the... What, do something else with your life other than Twitter there, Dawood Ali. Back in my day, junior developers just were in the dark moldy parts of the office and you would give them HTML emails to code and they would do that. That's what they, they would do that until they had coded enough HTML emails to, you know, move up to doing WordPress. And then they do WordPress for five years. And this entire time you wouldn't let them talk to anyone because this is the kind of shit that they would say. <laughs> That's a top vote. Yes, I'm making may may about it rather than fixing, actually fixing it. What the f What debugging regex feels like. Okay, and then you got this guy who's, that's a cool watch, whatever that is. He's got a magnifying glass. Although I don't think it's actually magnifying anything, so it might just be a placebo. It's just a ring, it's an iron ring. And he, he's saying that debugging regex feels like looking at hieroglyphics. But just like hieroglyphics, you can learn how to read them because it's part of your job. Maybe you should learn, maybe you should Google how to read these things you freaks don't don't leave freaks out. it's not stupid if it works okay submitted on behalf of a friend thank you Sitaninja. your code is without a doubt the worst i have ever run and then you've got jack sparrow here two finger in it and he says ah but it does run look if it's running it's running I, I mean, what, have, what were the requirements that it runs and looks pretty like no it's a utility when you're building code, you're just trying to make a thing work. You're not trying to make it look beautiful. Anybody who tells you different is an asshole. I'm going to upvote it because it's a friend thing. When you finally fix the bug that has been irritating you for one week, I see no god up here other than me. And it's just a cat on top of a pole. I don't get the joke. It's blue here and pink here. Uh, Fip May May. Uh, you've got, um, is this, uh, the guy that runs China? 
I think it is the guy that runs China. Java split. C sharp split with a capital S. And FIP explode. Stop making fun of PHP. It doesn't need you to make fun of it. It's a good language. And if we want to talk about horrible languages, I feel like we lump Java into C and C sharp into things I would never want to work on. You'd have to pay me like twice, three times as much to touch these dumpster fires of languages that, yeah, every a million billion devices run on Java. I don't care. I don't care. I'd rather code PHP all fucking day. You know what I don't have to do with PHP? I don't have to compile it. I don't have to have a class name that's 400 characters long just to describe, uh, you know, adding three numbers together. <laughs> like, I, I, I feel like everybody jokes on this, but stop. This is not PHP. This should be reversed. And PHP is number one. It's, it's always been number one. Everybody's hard. That's a down vote. Mick Austin, good try, but PHP's fine. Uh, smashing from the Mousy. This web uses biscuits to provide statistics that help us give the best experience of our site. You may change your biscuits setting at any time. English people be like, I don't get it. I like biscuits though. If you can just put up a tile of the biscuits, put up breakfast biscuits, like the one with the sausage and the eggs. Those are my favorite. Okay, this is just underscore submitted by Yunesha Mata. Okay, the tutorial. The docs. If you want to break free, you better listen to me. It's true though. I mean, it, this guy's saying I'm not sure if it's relatable, but it's totally relatable. I don't know who this guy is. I feel like he's somebody. You don't get this many photos taken of yourself unless you're somebody, especially not in a hat. Uh, I'm going to upvote it. Good, good job, Nesha Mata, to make me think about things. Okay, now we got uh, Bane Games, uh, who submitted pseudo make me a sandwich. Uh, we have the user saying RM, some, remove some file. And it's saying, can't do it, permission denied. And then it's saying, pseudo remove some file. And then you have Groot saying, I am root. Okay. I get it a little bit. I mean, his name's Groot though. Not root. Okay, well, that's all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of uh, last week in developer memes, colon, review, boomer edition. And I hope you'll come back for another one. Uh, that was a great time if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button because we know most of you still are not subscribed to this stuff. And we'd love for you to keep coming back. Submit your memes to the, the Maymay place uh, on Reddit. Put the link up. So I, I, I would like you guys to just understand it's it's incredibly, incredibly great. All of the, the outpouring of support that we've gotten on Patreon. Um, we'd like to put that Patreon counter up right here. Boom. Okay. That's how many people that have helped us out on Patreon by and support this type of content. Like we love to make content like this, but it takes a long time to grow it. And we really, you know, could use all the people in the world shipping in. If you like it, you know, just let us, let us, let us know with your wallet. You don't have to do that, though. We'll keep making it forever. And uh, Rob, let's roll that list of all the Patreon supporters so far that helped make this content a reality. Yeah. All right. So is this about how we're going to end it?